Today we celebrate the life of Blessed Frederick Ozanam. Guess what he did? He founded the St. Vincent de Paul Society. I'm sure that many of you work or participate in that activity. He was the fifth child of 14 children, only one of three to reach adulthood. He began having doubts about his religion as a teenager and reading and prayer didn't seem to help, but he met this priest, Father Moreau, and used to walk around with him and discuss matters. He wanted to study literature, although his father wanted him to become a lawyer, and he yielded to his father's wishes and in 1831 and arrived in Paris to study law at the University of the Sorbonne when certain professors there mocked Catholic teachings in their lectures, Frederick defended the church. A discussion club which Frederick organized sparked a turning point in his life. In this club, Catholics, atheists, agnostics debated the issues of the day. Once after Frederick spoke about Christianity's role in civilization, a club member said, let's be frank, Mr. Ozanam, let us be very particular. What do you do besides talk to prove the faith you claim is in you? Poor Frederick was stung by the question and decided that he should do something. So he and his friends started visiting Paris tenements and offering assistance. Soon a group dedicated to helping individuals was formed around Frederick and feeling that the Catholic faith needed an excellent speaker, to explain its teachings, Frederick convinced the Archbishop of Paris to appoint Dominican Father Jean-Baptiste Lacordaire, the greatest preacher that in France, to preach a Lenten series in Notre Dame Cathedral. It was well attended and became an annual tradition in Paris. After Frederick earned his law degree at the Sorbonne, he taught at the University of Lyon, he also earned a doctorate in literature soon after marrying Amélie Soulacroix. He then returned to the Sorbonne to teach literature. A well-respected lecturer, Frederick worked to bring out the best in each student. Meanwhile, the St. Vincent de Paul Society was growing throughout Europe. Paris alone counted 25 conferences. In 1846, Frederick, Amélie, and their daughter went to Italy, there he hoped to restore his poor health. They returned the next year. The revolution of 1848 left many Parisians in need of the services of St. Paul conferences. The unemployed numbered around 275,000, and the government asked Frederick to supervise the activity that would help the Vincentians feed the poor and the indigent. In 1852, Poor health again forced Frederick to return to Italy with his wife, and he died on September 8, 1853. In the sermon, Father Lacordaire described him as one of the privileged creatures who came direct from the hand of God in whom God joins tenderness to genius in order to enkindle the world. Frederick was beatified in 1997. He wrote an excellent book entitled Franciscan Poets of the 13th Century. Since his sense of the dignity of each poor person was so close to thinking of St. Francis, it seemed appropriate to include him among Franciscan greats. Franciscan Frederick Ozanam, who thought about the poor and actually did something besides thinking. Praise God and the Blessed Mother. May we all imitate his example.